Hey guys, welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to Kevin O'Leary. This is Kirby's father. Check this video out. Tell you something about how people look. I don't care if you're fat, you're skinny, you're bald, doesn't matter. It's can you perform? Can you execute? If somebody gives you a task, can you deliver? In business, that's all that matters. I don't care how you look. Can you deliver? Believe me, I've got people that look pretty crazy, pretty eclectic, covered in, at, in tattoos, fish hooks all over them. I don't give a sh**. You know what I like about them? They're consistent delivers. All right, Kirby. I really like what he says because you say this a lot, and I'm sure we've talked about it on this channel as well, but this is completely true. Um, in society, we see a lot of people that give too much attention for their appearance they give too much attention to a title to this they have that they are a banker they were the, whatever skill set they got supposedly and then the fitness crowd out there how good they look and then you see some of these people that in society are looked up to as these like strong people and then in situations where it's time to actually get to business get to work they they crumble and they can't perform and they lag behind and they're held back be behind everyone else. And, you know, and I see this a lot in my generation. We did a reaction to Dana White, who said that this generation is weak and they're going to get run over by the few that have any kind of dog in them. And it's true. I mean, we're, we're seeing this on a daily basis, but I'll let you I'll let you take over. Um. I'm just going to be honest. When I saw that video, I almost cried because <laughs> that's my, that's my MO. That's my mantra. That's, that's everything. Only thing I care about is execution. I don't care about how you feel. I don't care what your mama doing today. I don't care what your wife doing today. I don't care how bad your kids are. Are you executing? And trust me, I've, pissed off a lot of people because the only thing I care about is execution. Execute. Just execute. Don't think, don't think, if you knew what to do, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in. Just execute. And when Kevin O'Leary said, I don't care how people look, I give less than damn how people look. I don't care if they in the LGBT community, tatted up, tall, small, fat, skinny, I don't care. Just execute. I mean, some of the some of the people, some of the people that I've met that execute is some of the people that society will look at as what the heck. And of course, in America, everything is image based. Image based. They think if somebody, you know, they go to the gym, you know, they look good, they are executed. No. That's why, you know, they say the old adage, don't judge a book by its cover. I don't. Only thing I care about is something that can be measured. Can you execute? I don't care how long your hair is, how long your extensions is, how long your eyelashes is, uh, how many push-ups, sit-ups you can do. It don't matter. Execute. And this is not just business. This is a way of life for me. My son right now, both of them, one is, you know, he's older. My other one's younger. That's the only thing I tell him. Are you executing? I don't care about, oh, my finger hurt or, oh, I'm not having a good day. Are you executing? When I talk to my older son, I don't, I mean, we, we you know, we'll talk about, you know, his family and things like that. But no matter what going on, are you still executing? Because you don't have the luxury just to sit back. Most people don't have the luxury just to sit back and be in a feeling. Execute, execute, execute. And that's, and in business, that's a big problem. Everybody want to talk, have meetings. They want to brainstorm all the time. They want to, you know, put everything on spreadsheets. But they think that's executing. No, they're just looking busy. Executing. Are you meeting the next matrix? Are you making stuff happen? That is the only thing that matters. I don't care if it's small business. I don't care if it's large business. I don't care. I don't care if it's your home business, just being at home and running the uh, operation of your business. 
People need to be executed. Sitting around, singing Kumbaya, watching all the Netflix shows, you're not executed. You're just setting yourself up for failure. If you're sitting around, no emergency fund, uh, you're sitting there hoping, oh, don't worry about it, family got me. No, they don't. No, they don't. You're If you're not executing, you're failing. And most of America's failing. That's why we have the 1% and the rest of the 99 but the ones that's not executing want to be mad at the 1% that is executing. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing to me. And me and some people, I, we did another video. We was talking about the uh, the immigration, the immigration issue in Florida. Some people might misconstrue thinking that maybe I got a problem with, you know, Undocumented workers. That's that's the new term today, right? <laughs> Undocumented workers. <laughs> I don't. As long as they execute, I don't care what they do. I do have a problem with undocumented workers that's coming over here. Let's call it what it is, illegally. And they're not executing. My only adage in life is execute. Execute, execute, execute. Everything else, I don't. That don't even matter to me. Race, religion, creed. Uh, you can be wicked. You executing? We can make it happen. I don't have to agree with, with your philosophy in life. As long as your philosophy includes execution. And that's how I look at everything. But Alex, what you got? Yeah, I thought about... So I had this video saved for a while before I sent it to you. But I had thought about this more so in depth the other night on Saturday. Because I had went up to Georgia, so I woke up at, you know, it was 4.30, started driving at 5. So I'm driving from 5. It's and, yeah, 5 in the morning, all the way, we get back at 7 p.m. And then I don't get back home till 8 p.m. So what is that? 15 hours driving, something like that? I don't know. 15 hours driving. Hmm. <laughs> 15 hours driving, and then I get home. Kirby's like, hey, uh, do you want to do some videos? Perfect. Let's do some videos. So get home, go straight to record. And my in-laws, they had told me, they said, they were like, the amount of discipline you have. And then I thought to myself and I thought, if I had, I thought back of everything I've done in shitty situations and in moments where I could remember how I felt in these situations. And if I had not performed based off of because of how I felt, I thought of how held back I would be to where I am today. Like the, the lack of progress sure. I've had than where I am compared to today. And that's really all that matters is regardless of the situation, regardless of how you feel. And it's not to say like, oh, it's just, we, you know, for you and me, it's easy. I mean, we do it and it sucks, you know? I mean, yeah. it's not it like... Sucks. Yeah, it's not like we're like, oh, yeah, let's go. Like, it's just like we just know that a job needs to be done. And that's all that we're looking at is just executing. And, you know, it's just in order to see progress, in order to see success, you have to continue to keep performing day by day, every hour, constantly, because the physical act of performance it's, is what's going to lead you to reaching your goals not perform right. only in certain moments when you feel good because if you're only performing a little bit out of a time you're it's going to take you forever to get to where you want to be and you'll probably never even get there before you die so you have to constantly perform regardless of regardless of the situation regardless of how you feel any of that i mean how many times have you told me that i was fucking up on something and then we still did videos. It's not like I was like, oh, Kirby pissed me off. <laughs> like it's like whatever I need. You know, I, yeah. Analyze where I'm messing up, accept it, fix it, and then go back to work. That's all it is. It's not, you know, and I and I see that a lot too with people. They get too in their feelings when someone criti uh, critiques uh maybe something that they're doing in work, something that they're doing in business. They can't take the criticism and you know correct it, you know, improve from it. If someone you know, because you're not always going to see that you're messing up because you're just focused. Right. But if someone else can say, look, hey, look. I'm noticing this about you, fix this or do this. Why don't you do this? Think of this. 
then apply that, take that, you know, take that feedback and then just get back to work. And and FYI for everybody don't know, I piss Alex off all the time. <laughs> all the time. And uh it and it and it goes back to it. But the thing is, is under, understand, I want everybody to understand. And I do piss off Alex all the time, but it's not coming from a place of, hey, Alex, I want to piss you off and tell you about yourself because I don't want you to win. I'm telling it because I want him to win. It's where is the information coming from? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know when I talk to people, I sound harsh. But it's coming from, hey, do this, change this so you can get to where you want to go. It's not, oh, well, I just don't like how you act, so you need to do this and, and be like me. I don't know. I just want you to get back to focus on the objective. And I know I'm, I'm gonna say it harsh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the I'm not that guy. I'm not the guy that that's gonna sit there and and make it sound all buttery and and cool and all that. Every word I say is harsh. And Alex always tell me, Kirby, you need to act like you act in real life on the videos. And I yeah. I don't try. I, I I try not to because I know it'll turn people off. But the thing is, is most people, before I say this, is only thing that's gonna happen in life that's guaranteed is bad stuff is gonna happen. You gotta be prepared for it. You got to be careful. And if you're somebody that's emotional, and I always talk about emotion, people using their emotions to make decisions, you're going to make a bad decision. Or you're all in your feelings. Oh, I, I, I can't feel like I can move today. I'm just so hurt. No, you get up and execute. Just like Alex said, he did all that driving. I told him he was crazy doing all that driving. But I asked, hey, you want to do video? And he said, yeah. I don't go be like, hey, no, man, you've been driving. It's okay. No, no. He said, yeah, it's on the game on. <laughs> I throw out an option game on after that. I, uh, 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 and that's and that's just what it's about. I mean, I mean, a lot of people don't know. Like we have class every other Saturday. We talk about finance and different things that's going on in the market. I'm at some of the craziest places when I have to give that class because I give that class at eight o'clock at night on a Saturday. So that's when everybody's clubbing. That's when everybody's partying. And that's when everybody's doing it. And, it's a reason why it's at eight o'clock because now people got to make a decision. Do you want to go clubbing and lose all your money and spend all your money, or do you want to gain knowledge? So I only want the people that that want to gain knowledge there anyway. But I'm at some of the craziest places. I've done this class when I had close people close to me die the same day. Last week, I was doing business deals in Texas. And then, and then I, I visited some family members and things like that. But I stopped. And I did the class. No matter where I'm at. I done did it at McDonald's, on Wi-Fi. I did it at hotels. I done did it in some of the craziest places. But the thing is, execute. Execute, execute, execute. No excuses, just execute. If you eliminate the excuses, 90% of your problems will be gone. So, Kevin O'Leary, I thank you for that video. Um, Alex, you can close it up. I don't know if you got anything else to add to it, but go ahead. Yeah, I think, I mean, you just hit it on the head. And I mean, it, it's it's just that, like you said, you had someone that close to you that died and you still performed. And um, I've done the same thing. I mean, back to back, godmother had passed. Two months later, grandmother passed. But we still made videos. It was still performing, you know, because that's all that matters is, you have to continue to perform. And this is this message, like you said, this is going to the people that want to gain knowledge. This is going to the people that, you know, the one percenters, not to the rest of the world. If you want to be in the top, there is no excuses. People don't just wake up and, oh, I have a hundred billion dollars. No, they, there's a reason why, in, you know, that they're at the level that they're at. And you can look at all the stories on how they got there. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Steve Jobs. Bill Gates, all of them. I mean, they all had, they all made tremendous sacrifices in order to get there, regard, performing regardless of how they felt. But that's where I'll yeah, And I guess I can see in the comment section right now, like, I'm like, yeah, they got their money because they did stuff crooked. Well, they still executed to be crooked. How about <laughs> that? They still executed to be crooked every day. How about now? Now we can get that comment out the way. So that's my reply to that comment. Oh, it's because you did. Then oh, you're going to hell because you because you because you worked on the day somebody died. Still got to execute. They ain't coming back to save me. So still got to execute. But Alex, I just wanted to make sure I hit the comments on the comment section before it started. 
with all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.